Look, I think the, the first point is that though the younger generation, I think, can be reassured that National Super will be there and it'll be there for, they will get it for as long as someone turning 65 today does roughly a um, quarter of their lifetime, that hasn't changed. Uh, we're in an economy with the confidence to be able, able to deliver it. Remember, this is a generation who thought for quite some time there would be no superannuation. Uh, actually, there will be, and it'll look just like it does today. With respect to the other pressures on them, I mean, the <clears throat> we understand uh, that they need to have confidence in an economy that's lifting their incomes so that they can deal with the housing costs, costs of families, uh, paying for uh, paying off student loans. That's why policy that focuses on a strong economy is so important. And we've got you know opportunities because we've got surpluses to make positive choices about how we can further support them. But, but is this them. making it? You know, I mean, there are those who say that baby boomers are getting it easy here. Well, that's what that's what's been said. Uh, what do you What do you think? No, I don't think it's a matter of getting it easy. I mean, you. I don't think it's actually that helpful to have the generational comparisons because things change over time. I mean, back in the back in the late set, early 80s, you know, interest rates were 18 percent, 20 percent. Today they're four. What, what, will, what will wages then, though, rising at? You know, the gap would have been nominal interest rates would have only been six or seven percent. Well, look, we'd much I'd much rather be in New Zealand's economy today uh, than how it was 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, but I think looking ahead, uh, that that's a generation who most need uh, sensible economic policy that supports growth, that invests in the infrastructure for it, that focuses on the opportunities for their children and their children's educational achievement. And we're doing all that, um, so happy we'll be happy to have that discussion. Prime Minister, you've previously um, you've previously said um, you've previously said that uh, auto enrolment for KiwiSaver uh, could come in uh, when the government got back to surplus. Is your government still considering auto enrolment for KiwiSaver? Well, I think as I said yesterday, the, uh, we looked at that a number of years back. Uh, when the numbers in KiwiSaver were, were lower, but those numbers have grown substantially. And so the, both the, the fiscal cost of auto enrolment uh, is lower because most people are already in KiwiSaver and therefore the benefits of it are much lower. So uh, I mean, I, we haven't completely closed off the opportunity, but we'd have to go back and have another look to see whether it was worthwhile.